Dear friends, I would like to uh, thank you for um, uh, giving me the opportunity to present uh, uh, the topic of teaching controversial issues in multi-generational radicalized societies here. And I would also like to thank uh, Open Society Archives for giving me an opportunity to complete a Visegrad scholarship on the topic of totalitarian regimes in Central and Eastern Europe, as well as the Ukrainian Center for Holocaust Studies uh, for supporting my project research work uh, in this direction uh, in general. Um, so um, the presentation will be mostly in English uh, and some parts of it will be in Russian. Uh, I will explain uh, it um, during uh, the presentation. So, um, teaching um, controversial issues uh, is a name of a Council of Europe uh, methodology and training pack for teachers, uh, which is available in both languages, English and Russian. So don't be confused about it. You will have it and you could uh, use it and you could see what, what is best for you. Um, sadly, Controversial issues is a subject insufficiently taught in the European Union and Europe. Uh, this is and will be an unacceptable uh, situation as long as uh, the freedom of speech and uh, free media is compromised um, and uh, journalists are experiencing pressure and their works and sometimes lives uh, are endangered by states which don't allow them to work according to international standards. As long as anti-Semitism in countries like modern Hungary is open and could be seen on a daily basis. As long as armed conflicts uh, that took lives of thousands of people in the center of, in, in Europe still goes on. And uh, as long as Holocaust victims, victims' memorials are brutally vandalized, destroyed uh, on Remembrance Days and on usual days just uh, as something which we could commonly observe uh, in, uh, by, by seeing it or by listening about it. And as long as the communist regime crimes remain uh, unspoken and civil societies uh, in uh, some countries either don't function or being very marginalized. So uh, in my short presentation, I will outline uh, methods and teaching approaches of the controversial issues, uh, teaching methodology, of the Council of Europe uh, that I just mentioned. The prerequisites uh, of the trainers or teachers for teaching these uh, issues, list of and list of resources for teacher development, uh, as well as project resources suitable for teaching controversial issues. Okay. So. Uh, so what are um, uh, the controversial uh, issues? Uh, they are the areas where uh, controversies arise. For example, uh, cultural relations, migration policy, gender uh, equality, corrupt, uh, corruptedness of public officials, and the like. So to teach uh, them, we need to uh, address them everywhere where they exist or where we have people uh, in our, among our audiences where these uh, issues are quite uh, important. So basically everywhere. And um, uh, so um, controversial issues could not be taught without full approval and support of schools management. Uh, this means that uh, the teachers shouldn't be undertaking, considering even teaching uh, this topic, unless they have uh, their schools with them and behind them in uh, addressing this subject. 
and uh, high degree and uh, of school management and teachers' awareness of controversial issues uh, are a strong prerequisite of teaching them. So, um, um, why and where teaching we need to teach controversial issues? Uh, so, uh, this is also this also includes definition of, of controversial issues. This is where people have opposite views on an issue. This is actually what controversial issues uh, mean. Uh, uh, ex excuse me, please. I will accept all the questions once the presentation is completed. Thank you. Uh, controversial issues. Um, uh, uh, so there are, according to the methodology, there are five teaching methods of uh, uh, within the methodology. As you could see on the slide, uh, in the bottom of it, uh, the, the methodology is based on the following way. Every method has a purpose, is based on a theme, comes together with an activity, and lasts from 30 to 60 minutes. So this slide tells us about, uh, the, lists the methods, which include small group discussions, Paired work translating personal into societal questions, story and role playing um, in a public meeting, whole group uh, card exercise on responses to a controversial question, formulating answering questions in small groups, and role playing teacher responses to insensitive remarks. So, complete uh, description of the methods again uh, will be found in methodology. Uh, what teacher competencies are uh, and teacher approaches uh, are required to uh, to do to to teach controversial issues uh, uh, effectively? Um, they teachers must have beliefs and values compatible with teaching controversial issues and be able to reflect on his or her teaching practice. Uh, they should have t theoretical preparation, which allows them to understand how uh, controversial issues arise and uh, how they are being uh, solved in a democratic and peaceful way. Uh, and practical, uh, practical competences. This is very important uh, part because uh, the teachers should be able to choose the approach which is most suitable to their personality, their awareness, and uh, then they will need to choose one of the six teaching styles or approaches about which I will tell you just in a second. They need to understand how to fairly present uh, controversial issues when comprehensive sources of information are not available. This is often the case. Um, and they, to be, they need to be able to communicate effectively at school and also involve community parents and uh, larger community in the subject of teaching controversial issues. So you could see that practical is also very important. Um, so what uh, could we say about the teacher profile and individual teacher competences? competences sorry. So they should be highly self-reflective. Uh, they should need to have a good balance and understand good balance between personal and public in our earlier presentations by some of the teachers. This uh, topic have al has already been raised when somebody said, when one of the presenters said, как можно читать дневники, можно ли читать чужие дневники? So, uh, uh, controversial issues are sometimes so sensitive that we need to, as teacher and teachers need to understand how to balance uh, even anonymous presentation of a story of a victim uh, during the lesson. Um, personal awareness of controversial issues uh, need to be applied towards a country, towards a part of a country, towards a school, and uh, so uh, they, there needs to be a multiple awareness um, for this. Um, and um, right, uh, so uh, this is what is very uh, important. 
And here, uh, uh, once uh, the teaching method is being uh, chosen, then we could see here, uh, you could uh, just, uh, I will not read it, and it's also in Russian, from the Russian version, because most of the people presented here are uh, Russian speakers. Um, there are six teaching uh, styles, actually, and I will tell about them in Russian language. Mm -hmm. um, so um, um, that these teaching styles, they are, or teaching approaches, they match, they should match the chosen method for the selected theme of teaching controversial I'm, issue. I'm sorry, Olga, just, I'm, because I know that uh, for you it's better to, that I will say something, yeah? just a few minutes left, I'm sorry. Uh, like, how many minutes do I have? Two minutes. It's too sad. So um, maybe you can show the logo. Zayavlena, zayavlena pozitsia. Six, six, преподавателей, возможности преподавать спорные вопросы. Первый заявленная позиция. Дальше, значит, сбалансированный подход. Нейтрализованный метод метод нейтрального преподавания, и дальше есть э, очень и, и интересный, который называется «Адвокат дьявола», в котором учитель принимает э, позицию, противоположную высказанную Ой, участниками, пожалуйста. метод союзника и официальная позиция. Пожалуйста, все в подробностях я с удовольствием вам, вам расскажу, таким, э, поскольку моя презентация, ну, то есть не хватает времени для того, чтобы ее э, закончить. Я хочу сказать, что очень важны эти, эти позиции, потому что особенно официальная позиция, это вообще такая позиция, которая не дает возможности э, преподавать во многом эти э, спорные вопросы, и это такая позиция, по которой работают очень многие преподаватели из э, тех стран, в которых демократия э, не является, скажем так, э, такой, которая позволяет преподавать не в, в несоответствии с официальной позицией. Поэтому я вас приглашаю использовать эти методологии и э, использовать э, понимание того, какие недостатки есть у каждой из э, позиций преподавания. Вот это вот вы видите э, сами эти пособия, сами эти пособия значит, по которым составлена презентация. И поскольку вы видели в, перед этим логотипы, as you had seen the logos of the organizations of which I'm either part of or partnering with, uh, here you could see the teaching resources uh, which are highly uh, related to the topic of controversial issues to, in which you could participate interactively as teachers. And uh, uh, so th these are Uh, these are the opportunities for you to contribute to this subject and to network with them. And it is also very important because we could use the huge European uh, funds that have been applied in order to develop cultural projects, in order to uh, partner with them and uh, uh, show our projects and also teach at schools these subjects of controversial issues. And I will be more than happy to tell you in, in detail about it. Uh, sorry if I took too long and uh, if it was a little bit confusing. And thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.